Hey guys, um, good morning. It is 9.45, I've been up since 6 a.m. This is a really big deal for me because I am not a morning person. I know what some of you are thinking. Oh my gosh, what kind of a lazy person are you? I get up at 4 a.m. every single morning for work. What have you been doing with your life? Well, I'm sure there are more of you out there who can relate to my struggle of not being able to wake up in the morning. I always wanted to be a morning person, and I really tried. I just, I really tried. I've, I've tried this a lot of times. There was a season of my life where I got up at 5 a.m. every single day for two years. And you know what? It never got easier. And I always wondered, how do people do it? How do people wake up consistently at the same time at a really ridiculously early <laughs> time? How do they do it and turn into morning people? I just don't get it. I'm like, what is so great about this? Well, I'm here to tell you that I've been waking up every single day at 6 a.m. for the past week. A really big deal for me, again, might I add. And it has been really transforming so many things for me. I get a lot more things done. I actually have more consistent energy throughout the day, which is quite surprising. And I'm gonna tell you what started all of it and what inspired this change. So, you know, the new year came and I've made all these ridiculously like huge goals that, you know, this is something people do a lot where they make way too many goals at the new year and in about like, I don't know, January 15th, they realize, wow, I can't do this. I'm burning out and, and they just quit everything. Well, one of the things that I've started to learn recently is about how to make small changes over a long period of time. And this is one of the key things I found in waking up early is that, is that the reason that it was hard for me to wake up early is that I had so many expectations on myself for what I was gonna get done. And I don't know, I thought I was like superwoman or something. So I watched two videos recently that really inspired me to start getting up early again and gave me some really, really helpful tips for how to do it. One of those is a video by Jordan Taylor where he talks about how getting up at 5 a.m. changed his life. It was really inspiring to me. I watched that and I thought, hey, I can do something similar. And one of the things that he said that was really helpful for me was he had so much more time. That was a huge motivation for me. Another key factor was that he was always looking at his phone and obsessing over social media and being on his phone all day. And one of the rules he made for himself was that he was going to limit the time he uses his phone by turning it off before he goes to bed, an hour before he goes to bed, and only turning it back on three hours after he wakes up. Gosh, I just spilled my coffee everywhere. This is, yeah. I couldn't exactly implement this tip into my life in the same way, but I was able to limit my time on my phone to five minutes after I wake up. For five minutes when I wake up, I can get on my phone, I can see who messaged me. Once it's 6.05, that's like, I have to get up. At that point, I have to get up. So the other video I watched that really inspired me was by Matt Diavella about how to wake up before 6 a.m. every day. And in his video, he gave the tip to leave yourself a glass of water next to your phone so that when you get up, you can drink the whole glass of water and it kind of helps you wake up and like refresh you and get your body kind of working and moving. And so building those little routines and those, those little things that, that help motivate me to get out of bed, those are what actually kept, kept me, kept me, I'm an English teacher and I say kept me, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's one of the things that kept me from laying back down is thinking that no, I'm gonna get up now, I'm gonna drink this glass of water, I'm going to not lay back down in the dark. That's another hard thing, getting up in the dark. Oh my gosh, ugh, you think it's gonna be really bad. And I mean, in the beginning it is, but I'm gonna be honest, I got used to it. Like it's not really a big deal anymore. I just found that I had come to a point in my life where I was just feeling like everything I did, I didn't have enough time for it. I was out of control of my schedule and I wanted to pursue the things that I was pursuing. I wanted to have time to study things that I care about. I wanted to have time for my projects. Another thing that Matt Diavella said in his video about getting up before 6 a.m. is that you need a motivation. So I really thought about my goals. I clearly made a list of my goals that I, I'm really looking to achieve long term and what it's gonna take me to get there. 
and I realized that waking up early is key to me fulfilling those goals. So these two videos are great. I would really um, encourage you guys to check it out if you are also not a morning person, but know that you should be and really want to try to get out of bed early. Check out Jordan Taylor's channel. He's an awesome guy with a great personality, and I really encourage you to watch his channel. And Matt Diavella, for those of you who are pursuing a minimalist lifestyle or just trying to build healthier habits in their life, he makes really inspirational videos and his channel has given me a lot of valuable information and advice. So these two videos were like the turning point for me that really made me realize that I need to form this habit and I need to make it stick. I am proud to say that this is, wait, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This is the seventh day that I've gotten up early. Seventh day. Another tip that I saw in both these videos was the suggestion to go to bed at the same time every single night. And that is absolute key for waking up at the same time every morning. Um, that's another thing I did really, really poorly the last time I tried this was that I just went to bed whenever I wanted and I stayed up really <laughs> late and really didn't sleep well and I didn't make sure that I was getting enough sleep. So that was the main problem. I try to be in bed by 10 p.m. That gives me a good eight hours of sleep, waking up at six. And if I really stick to that and I really lay down at 10 p.m. to go to sleep every night, I wake up feeling really good, guys. Like, you have no idea you should try it. So these are some of the tips that really, really helped me and inspired me and helped me to realize the value of waking up on time. Especially as a freelancer and a creative type, I have to give myself some kind of goals and, and boundaries and guidelines that, I, that can help me to manage my time and structure my day well because I don't have a nine to five job where I go into the same office every morning and finish at the same time every day. So for me, it's especially important that I stay disciplined and that I develop my own habits that really help me to attain my goals. So let me tell you a little bit about my morning routine. So when I get up, I drink that glass of water, I go straight into the kitchen and pour myself a cup of coffee. I have like not a very cool coffee maker. It was left here by our landlord, but it was missing its coffee pot. And so I took a coffee pot, an extra coffee pot from my mother-in-law's house so now I have this like funny, really makeshift drip coffee maker, but it does the job and it's okay. But the good thing about this coffee maker is that it has a auto setting and you can set the time that it makes you coffee in the morning. So some of the things I do the night before are that I lay out my clothes, I make sure that all the things that I want to read and study are set out on the kitchen table so that I don't have to keep going in and out of the room because I don't want to wake up my husband. He doesn't like to get up as early as I do. And I set up a pot of coffee and I set the auto setting for 6 a.m. Because I'm not a really big morning person, I'm still pretty like drowsy and out of it when I wake up. And it, it's more motivating when I hear the sound of the coffee maker going, you know, it's just like comforting and I think, okay, coffee, a reason to get up, you know? So I'm a huge coffee person. So coffee is a huge motivator in helping me get out of bed in the morning. I know that sounds really bad and like I'm addicted, yeah, I'm addicted, I'll just admit it. I'm totally addicted to coffee. So I go to the kitchen, I pour myself a cup of coffee, and I sit down at the table and I open my Bible. For those of you who don't know this about me, I'm a Christian and my relationship with God is very important to me. So I start every day by reading the Bible. I don't have a goal of like how much I read. It also depends on how tired I am. I try to read a few verses to a whole chapter. Sometimes I read two chapters. And then I journal. Uh, I'm trying to get in the habit of journaling because I found it really helps me absorb information that I'm reading a lot better. And also it inspires me to write creatively and to have more ideas for songwriting. Like I mentioned before, I, I end up having way too many goals and this is how I usually end up burning out. But recently I've been trying something out and I feel like it's really working for me and I'm making a lot of progress. I've been spending only 15 minutes on each goal that I have every morning. 15 minutes of reading my Bible, 15 minutes of journaling, 15 minutes of reading some other book that I have been meaning to read, 
Um, one of my goals is to read every single book that I own because I feel like before I minimize my book collection it would make sense to actually go through and make sure I've read everything. I also heard a really great tip once that reading every book in your book collection is a great way to just start developing yourself as a person and to give yourself a goal with a foreseeable end in your reading. So I read 15 minutes of a book from my own personal bookshelf and I study Russian for 15 minutes. I started studying Russian, well, a lot of times. I've kind of stayed in the same place for like four years and this is really frustrating for me because I have a goal to speak five languages. I really have a huge dream to be a polyglot one day and so Russian is going to be my third language and I've been putting off actually disciplining myself and studying every day. I also started a Russian course from this year so that will help me stay motivated because I have to go back to my teacher every week and show them what I've done. And currently I'm also doing 15 minutes a day of studying how to teach English as a second language more efficiently. This is a goal I've had since I live in Budapest and a lot of what I do is meet people and help them with their English. So my goal is to finish this course in the next couple months and when I finish I'll have even more time to dedicate to my other goals. So having just like a bit of time that you work on everything a day that isn't like this okay I'm gonna practice Russian for an hour and then I'm gonna read for an hour and then I'm gonna do this and that for an hour. Who has time for all of that? I figure that giving myself 15 minutes with each of these things still allows me to make progress in all of them but it's not this overwhelming amount of time that makes me feel discouraged like I can never do anything. So instead of giving up on everything, I'm spending a bit less time with each of them but then I'm still consistent with them every single day. So give yourself goals that don't overwhelm you, that feel like something that you can accomplish easily and build on that over a longer period of time. This is another thing that Matt Diavelis mentioned was that he recommends building in one habit a month. So in 12 months from now, think of how different of a human being you're going to be if you just focus on one month at a time and developing one really strong consistent habit in your life per month. For me, this month is about getting up early. Next month, I might make it about getting up even earlier and adding a workout routine to my morning. The month after that, I might make it studying everything for half an hour instead of 15 minutes. So these are the goals that I'm hoping to reach, but I don't want to overwhelm myself by trying to do them all at once. So I'm trying to give myself realistic goals that help me feel that I'm making progress, but that I'm not so overwhelmed that I can't do it all. Just having a bit of discipline in my life has helped me to feel I have a control over the things in my life that seem big or overwhelming, and I feel I can look at them from the perspective of, okay, that's fine, eventually I'll get there and I'll make a great habit out of that too. And it helps me to just like calmly approach one thing at a time instead of feeling like, oh my gosh, I have to solve the world's problems all at once. So this principle of just taking one habit at a time, that was super helpful for me. So getting up early has allowed me to feel like I can have me time, I can have time to develop myself, to develop the things that are personal goals for me that don't have to do with my work, like studying Russian or reading the Bible or reading a book that I'm really interested in. That actually makes my whole day feel so much better and so much more under control that I had a jump start and I had my me time, I had my coffee, and then I can go into work feeling like, wow, yes, like I feel like a, a really <laughs> calm and peaceful and, and accomplished human being and I haven't even started my work day yet. That extra hour and a half in the morning before Barna wakes up and we have breakfast is what's going to get me in the long term to be that person that I want to, to be. To be that person who is diligent to learn languages. To be that person who is diligent to work out even with a busy schedule, who can figure out how to take care of their body. To be that person who manages their time well enough that they have time for the things they want to do. They have time for their relationships. They have time for their friends, for their husband, for their wife, for their family. In order to do that, like there are some things that are really important to get consistently in your life, like consistent habits. These consistent habits are what are going to set you up for the future. So after I do my 15 minutes of my current daily goals, uh, Barna wakes up at 7.30. Another thing that I've been doing every morning, as soon as I hear his alarm go off, is I immediately start to make breakfast. I always wait to have breakfast with him because that's also another way that you know we can spend time together throughout our day and that time is really valuable for me and I really love our breakfast. It's my favorite time. We always have the most amazing conversations in the morning and 
it's just really great to be with Barna and have our coffee together and spend time on one another and that's another reason I love to wake up early now is because I get so much done before he wakes up that by the time he wakes up I don't feel like I have a million things in my head and I feel like I can be present because I've already done so many things. So yeah, after all that is done, I'm ready to start my day and I've already done like a whole bunch of things and had like this really nice slow time to just focus on myself. And so that's been really, really valuable for me. And I really hope this video has inspired some of you who have been putting off getting disciplined about getting up early. Do it, you won't regret it. Um, I will say, be patient with yourself because in the beginning it will be really hard to train your body <laughs> to feel awake at that time but after a few weeks it'll just feel natural to you so I just encourage you to take it slow start with a time that doesn't seem too <laughs> impossible for you for example I couldn't imagine getting up at 5 a.m. right now like that seemed like a really extreme shift for me because I had been getting up at 9 a.m. Um, but I'm getting up at 6 this month and next month my goal is to bring it to like 5.30, maybe even 5 a.m., I'm not sure yet. But just take it slow, take it in little steps and you'll be amazed at where you are a year from now. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell to receive notifications on my next videos. If you have some of your own tips for how you wake up early, what motivates you, um, what are some tricks that you've learned that really help you to get out of bed every single day at that same time, um, any advice you can give, uh, just write it in the comment section below so that others can benefit from your knowledge and your experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!